I don't look dead. Where did that come from? <laughs> trying to play hide and seek with me y'all he's trying to play right now y'all see him right he's trying to play when i walk past him why are you trying to pounce on me right now stop <laughs> guy he's crazy anyways it's um new year's eve i just posted my other vlog and so i'm starting another weekly vlog y'all i just filmed a video into my makeup my makeup looks so okay right here like it looks decent it does look a little bright underneath but on the video that i just filmed i hate how my makeup turned out but guess what i'm not about to refilm it i just can't i can't i put so much work and energy into filming that video this room is a mess as usual we got a lot going on in here but um i'm home alone that's another reason why i he's back in here he just scared the shit out of me mowgli what are you doing? He's in super play mode, y'all. He just wants to play right now. But um, I'm home alone. That's why I filmed my video so that it was quiet. Because usually when I be trying to film for y'all, it's noisy. A bunch of people be over here. And I was like, okay, this is my opportunity to film. But I just don't see me trying to redo my makeup and refilm everything. And my battery died. So I'm just like, ah. But I'm going to do my best. I hope the video is good. By the time y'all watch this vlog... The video is out so i hope it does well i've been wanting to film that video forever so yeah um i am going to wipe this makeup off. oh i redid my lashes y'all and they look so much better i knew with practice i was gonna do my lashes so good it looks like i have on mascara in my opinion <laughs> it probably don't but um yeah i feel like i um i did them pretty well what do y'all think what do y'all think so I redid my lashes and I think I'm gonna wash this off though take my shower and cook I need to eat I'm gonna make me a vegan grilled cheese and then I'm gonna make the cheese is vegan the bread is bread <laughs> the bread not vegan but I'm gonna make a grilled cheese and then I have some tomato basil soup so I'm gonna eat that soup for dinner and I've been doing so good with my I hate to say the word dieting but my change of style with eating I feel good losing these pounds and inches period um what else I you know what's funny I hate the word period and I say it so fucking much I feel like I hate saying period I hate it um but anyways y'all i'm talking so much right now you would think that i had like a bunch of coffee and i have not <sighs> what else am i doing tonight so um, everybody's by my brother's house right now for new year's i didn't really want to go i just i want to be home i do um i don't want to get sick i don't want to be around a lot of people and also i really want to work on my goals i want to start writing in my journals tonight and start aligning my goals and plotting out what i want to do i applied to a lot of part-time jobs for retail and so i'm hoping i can pick up a second gig when i tell y'all i have goals and plans that's the only reason why i begin all these extra jobs is for all of the things i've been wanting to do not like i want to buy material things like i want to buy a bag that's not why i get a second job i'm getting a second job because i want to pay off something or i want to i really want to pay off my car but I want to um, buy something for someone else or I'm going somewhere and I want to have the freedom to do what I want. So I get extra jobs for that purpose, y'all. I be wanting to just not struggle and not have to worry about money. And I also want to build my savings extremely high. I had a very high savings at a point and then I blew it. And so I want to rebuild my savings because I have a feeling this is the year that we're gonna buy a house. And when I say we, me and my mom and my daddy are gonna buy a house. Or, yeah, me and my, I don't know. But I think this is the year that it's gonna happen. We gonna buy a house in Texas. Um, They have been here now for a year. We live in an apartment right now because they didn't want to come here and then boom, find a house. And my daddy didn't know where he was gonna be working and all of that. I work far, so it's like, where do we want to live? We trying to figure that out. So that's why we have not bought a house yet. 
and I will never buy a house for just myself because I am not going to live in a house by myself. I'm too scary. And so whatever house we do decide to get is going to be um, hopefully in a location that's like central so that my daddy can get to work. I can get to work. Hopefully I'm not working and I can work from home type shit or something. I don't know. I'm just speaking all of these things out loud. But let me go wash all this off my face and cook because I'm hungry and I'll probably see y'all tomorrow. Hey everybody, I just wanted to come on and say Happy New Year. It is Saturday, January 1st, 2022. And so I just wanted to say Happy New Year. I'm not doing much today. My mama just made the good look meal of the year. Cabbage, black eyed peas, chicken, all of that. Fried chicken. So everybody is coming over to eat that. I am about to go work out. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm not doing much today, so I probably won't vlog. I just want to come on and say Happy New Year. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday, January 2nd. Y'all, I'm having the hardest time getting out of bed. <laughs> the hardest time. It's 10 30 a.m. And Houston just turned brick. It's like 30 degrees outside. You don't really feel cold. I guess I haven't gone out. But I do feel like when it's cold, like it feels cold in the house. It don't feel cold. So, um, I don't feel like doing anything. Ah, <laughs> uh, y'all, I'm having like, um, uh, what do you call it? An not anxiety. I don't know what the word is. It's not coming to me, but I'm having some type of phobia because I go back to work tomorrow and I do not want to go back to work, y'all. Oh my God, I don't want to go back to work. The journey it takes me to get to work, I don't feel like doing it. I commute. Also, I have been wanting to open up more about just how I've been feeling with my career. I don't look at this as a career. I look at this as just a job because I never saw this as something long term. I see this as like just a stepping stone. I don't see this as something I'm going to do for the rest of my life. And so I have put in six years and legit like year one and a half, two, I knew I did not want to do this. The only reason I know some people are like, if you don't want to do it, then why are you doing it? Like, um, you know, because I do see teachers who are horrible. I witnessed them firsthand who are horrible. They're not there for the kids. They're not there like with good intention they literally are just there for a check with me it's different with me i am really good at my job but i don't want to do this because of all of the political things that go into it i just can't get with like i do not agree with it and it's so hard for me to like conform and to sit silent like i'm such a rebel at heart i really am and i speak up on things and I just feel like me as one person, I can't change that much. Like, it's way beyond me. I can do a little bit. I can touch a few people while I am in a position and maybe change a few people's lives. I don't know. But for the most part, like, I am just a small little guppy in the ocean, y'all. Like, I, there's not much I could do. And that really pisses me off. Um, just... The curriculum, what I'm supposed to teach, I don't agree with. And I don't want to teach it, so I don't teach it. Um, I don't agree with the political side of, like, I guess people don't realize, like, all of the stuff that go into teaching. Like, we don't just go to work and teach. We have meetings. We have Excel sheets we got to fill out that are pointless and stupid. I don't understand why. I have to fill out lesson plans. I have to... I don't micromanage, but I have to pretty much manage the other teachers on the team and make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing, which they don't be. It's just a lot. It's a lot, and I just feel like this is not what I want to do at all. And I always say, like, I was in it for the kids, and at this point, the kids don't even care. Like, I have never experienced this much lack of education. I feel like I really have not taught it this entire year i feel like i've just been controlling my environment like babysitting 
I'm making sure because my school has been a mess, y'all. My school has been so bad. But I'm just making sure like kids are not in the hallway. Kids are in the classroom. Kids are actually showing up. It's just, it's been a lot. And I just feel like this ain't why I'm here. I did not come here for this purpose. So, yeah, I have been applying to jobs like crazy, like crazy, like crazy. And it's crazy too because so many people at my job and at my job last year are quitting. Like they are not staying in education. They're leaving the education field. And I see why. <laughs> I see why. But um, I said all that to say that I don't want to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> and I gotta go to work tomorrow. So I'm just trying to enjoy my last little day. I wanted to go work out. I worked out four times this week. And I wanted to go work out, but I kind of don't feel like it. I got cramps again. I'm just, this is the worst period I've had. I feel like I've been on my period for like two weeks. <laughs> but I really haven't. I've, I have not been on my period that long. I've just been having the symptoms. Like, I started cramping maybe two or three days before my period actually started. And now my period is like finishing. It's going away, but I still have really bad cramps. I don't know what's happening to me. Um, I need to do my journal. I started journaling again and I got my new journal that I'm writing in. I'm writing in this one, the keep growing one. So I'm going to journal and take it easy, lay in the bed. I'm not going to, I'm not going to force myself to really do anything I don't want to do. I already did my laundry. I do want to clean my room. I want to clean and vacuum and get my room like really neat, straight clean. I got a lot of junk on my desk over there that I need to clean up. And so I want to do that. But for the most part, that's all I'm doing today. So I guess I'll see y'all. I don't know. Maybe I'll record a little later. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> but I'll probably just see y'all tomorrow when I go back to work. Okay, I decided to get up. So I'm going to just do a speed clean and get this room together so I can enjoy the rest of my day. It is currently 10.54 a.m. I just took a pre-workout, so that's why I'm so hyped up and so up. But I'm getting my workout clothes together. I got my socks on. It's so cold outside, y'all. It's like 32 degrees right now. Um, So I'm trying to see what I'm about to put on for my little workout outfit. 
I have little sets that I never wear. But I'm also put a hoodie on over it because it is so cold and I walk to the gym. I want to drive, but by the time my car heat up, like I didn't already waste it about 10 minutes. So I'm going to just walk to the gym and be a little cold. Hey, Mooka, good morning. So today going to be a super chill day at work too. Today is a um, PD. Honestly, it's not even a PD day. Today we are just doing... Um, like lesson planning but your girl be on top of shit per usual i was already on top of my shit i planned for the next two weeks before we left for break so that's what we're supposed to be doing today planning for the next two weeks we already did that so my t-shirts won't have to meet i'm saying my t-shirts like i'm a whole ass like ap or something <laughs> not at all um the english four team won't have to meet because I already did that. So, I'll be spending a lot of my time alone in my room, which I like. Um, I will go make like copies and stuff today. So that's my agenda today. So of course I'm gonna bring y'all along cause I won't be as um, like limited or restricted with my filming. I can actually film today. So yeah, let's go work out. Yo, now for the gym to be a mess though, ew. That is so trifling. I have not seen the gym look like this. Like, they didn't even clean up the gym. It just like somebody came in here and just ransacked the gym. Ew. All right, y'all, I just finished my warm up. Um, my warm up was to do a mile. That's what I do for my warm up pretty much every time I warm up. <laughs> I either do a mile or I do the set myself for like 15 to 20 minutes. And your girl done broke a little sweat. So I'm about to actually work out now. I'm gonna focus on like full body today. So I'm about to do, I just realized I have on my hoodie backwards. Wow. Wow. Not my hoodie, my sweatshirt. Um, but I'm about to do full body. So I'm about to pick up these weights and do squats and pull-ups, I guess. I don't know how to say what I'm trying to do. But when I squat down and come up, I'm gonna lift the weight up. So, I'm gonna start with tens and progressively get, you know, heavier. Somebody better come in the gym. I have seven minutes to finish everything that I need to finish. So, I'm about to do a quick, 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 quick beat. Not really a beat. I'm just about to do a little bit. <coughs> so, I don't look dead. Where did that come from? Music from the soul, y'all. So, I have on this big puff jacket. I got this from Shein. I got on Jessica 7 and Toro hoodie. I have on some split hem pants. These aren't leggings, they're actual pants from H&M. Mm, H&M. And then the boots are from Forever 21. So, that's our OOTD. I just put a little bit of makeup on. I just put on foundation and did my eyebrows spray and chapstick. It's 
dark as hell and hot as hell. Oh, I think I unplugged that. I rearranged my room before I left. I don't know how I like it. We gonna see, we gonna see. Yo, I'm hot. Okay, let me get situated. I have somebody left cookies on my desk. I don't know who left this here. I need to like unpack. Okay, that's better. So, god damn it. Somebody left cookies on my desk. I don't know who these are from, but they're going in the trash because they've probably been here. Somebody texting me. Y'all. It's January. I need to clean it up. Oh, I forgot I have somebody come and talk on Friday. Hey, I have a little guest speaker coming talk Friday. But I'm sure I had a mask on my desk. Throw all that out of the way. <sighs> I know my shit is dead. Y'all, my OCD, I'm trying to organize the desk already. <laughs> Let me show y'all how clean my desk is, though. Like, nothing beyond my desk. Except for all the stuff I gotta unpack. So, that's what I'm about to do. <sighs> it's hot. I need to plug in my laptop. think of more creative ways we can assess too i know what? to assess i know we talk about they have to take tests and all it is but in my opinion the day and age that we in right now tests are not that accurate of a of a measurement of what they know and what they don't know so i firmly agree that able to cheat mm -hmm. But if quite often some of these kids are just confused by the question. If they're not used to taking tests, they can be tricky. Mm -hmm. What sort of projects? So whatever our third assessment will be, it will have to do with that science fiction. I'm just calling it the science fiction unit stuff. I should say science fiction 360. Science fiction slash social commentary. Science fiction, uh, what is that? Science fiction slash social commentary. Social commentary, social commentary, what does that mean? Well, if you look at dystopian literature, it's always comments, said the future, but it's commenting on fears of the moment. So it is mm -hmm. making a social comment about certain trends within society that could develop into something really terrible. What if we had the kids interview people to look for social commentary about what's going on now as far as fears? Maybe they could interview their peers, their senior fellow classmates, about what's your fear in five months when you graduate and you're out of here. What might that fear lead to? What will that lead to? That could be a good project. Extrapolate into the future where what sort of society based on this fear if it allowed to grow, what would we have? I like that. That's why I like how y'all feel uh, about that. You know, like the handmaid's tale, because you know social commentary. Um, what did I just say? Project, some type of project. Women have been controlled in the past. It's not too crazy <clears throat> to think they might be in the future. I think that's a good idea. And that could bring us probably throughout the rest of the you whole know, unit, to be honest. You want to type it into one of those slots so that we remember, and, uh, and then you can move it around as needed. So I'm thinking this week we could start, or not start, but finish that essay, whatever the essay is. And then maybe here, February 1st, we could start 
the science fiction unit. And that could lead or last until they got a whole month. Roughly a so month. It's five to seven weeks, so that could probably take us through the end of the nine weeks. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. How y'all feel about that? Sounds good. I like it. I like that too. Okay. I like it. <laughs> I mean, they could take the whole week to write. And with us putting the social commentary, the project, or whatever we decide, putting that on them, that gives us time to work on those essays, to grade those essays. So we don't have to take them home. We can use some class time to do that. And that was a huge concern of yours, grading all those essays. Yeah, as long as I have time mm -hmm. without the pressure of grades being due. Mm -hmm. Black, it's Tuesday. I was about to say it's Wednesday. It's Tuesday. Today was the first day back for kids. I wanted to show y'all my outfit because I felt a little cute today. So this is what I was wearing. This is like a shirt dress from Shein. I wear this one a lot. Actually, it got the little like, what do you call this? Like built-in boussier type thing. But I put this little vest over. I've been wanting to wear this vest forever. I got the vest from Forever 21. I have on some leggings, these cute little frilly socks, and then just some boots, my boots deep men. So yeah, that was my outfit today. <laughs> So today was a decent first day back, like no issues really at all. Um, I'm just like, I don't know y'all, I don't know. I'm just really over the whole profession, I really am. And I know I keep talking about this, but I keep saying, the only thing that is keeping me in the field right now, like not quitting today, January right now, is the kids. And I'm trying so hard. I promise y'all I'm trying so hard. I am trying so hard to keep them in mind and not let this go. Because I just feel this is not for me. This is not for me on so many levels. I got pretty much fucked over for a position. I feel some type of way about that. I do. I feel some type of way that the school is in shambles. I feel some type of way that I don't, I don't feel like I teach. I really don't. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I talked about this before. I'm really just watching the kids. I don't teach. And I really try to reframe my mind today and not even get upset or aggravated with the kids. The kids just come in and go immediately on their phone. Like they don't even look up at me when I'm speaking. That's sad, like that's a problem. And these are 16, 17, 18 year olds that are about to go into the world and can't even like socially communicate. Like they can't even look at someone when they're speaking. You know how rude that is? Like I feel some type of way. I don't know, I just, this is a different, different society and different realm of kids that I'm dealing with. They're not disrespectful, although you could say ignoring someone is disrespectful, but like they're not, they're not crazy to me. Like they don't talk to me crazy, they don't, you know, disrespect me or like my classroom rules. I don't have no rules really, but you know, like they're respectful kids, but there is absolutely no desire to learn or to be educated or to do any type of physical work. They don't want to do anything. They want to come in, be on the phone. You know how many kids ask me damn near every day? Please tell me we're not doing nothing today. Please tell me you're not teaching today. And I look at them and I be like, so don't do my job. You mean it's something you came to school to not learn? Like, what is happening in the world, y'all? What is happening? I keep saying the only thing that keeps me is the kids. And at this point, me and the kids don't connect. Like, what am I doing here? Because I, like, why am I here? Because y'all don't want to learn. I'm not that type of teacher to just sit at my desk. I'm bored as hell. You know how slow the day goes by? Just sitting at my desk doing nothing? It's boring as hell, y'all. Like, I just, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. <laughs> quarter life crisis. Obviously, I'm not me, so it ain't a midlife crisis. It's a quarter life crisis. Like, I just don't know what to do. What's the next step for me? But it's not this. It is not this. <sighs> I'm about to change my clothes. Um, 
and eat I usually take a shower when I get home to get out of like the work clothes and shower like the germs and stuff off me but I have to go back out I don't want to take a shower go outside and come back inside so I'm just about to change eat because my mama cook and then um I have a few errands to run so we're gonna go run a few errands and then I'll come home shower do a little skincare I might take a bath I might take me a little bubble bath and relax and let my mind go free you know because I didn't have a stressful day. It was not a bad day at all. It just got me thinking. As I'm looking around the classroom, I'm just thinking like, this is weird. It's weird to see a 100% of kids just like this on the phone. Like, it's sad. It's really sad. Hey, y'all. It's Wednesday. I'm home. I just got off from work, but I had to figure out my outfit because I felt cute today. Okay, I'm wearing my pink suit um, that I showed y'all in a Shein haul a minute ago. But on Wednesdays, we wear pink. So, I just want to tell y'all, I had a great day today. Today was such a amazing, better, productive. Like, my kids was actually engaged in learning today. And I felt like, I felt like in the first time in a long time, like, even through the pandemic, because I feel like I didn't really teach during the pandemic. For the first time, I felt like I really, like, was doing something productive in teaching today. So, it was a good day. <sighs> Mowgli. Jesus Christ. But, anywho, I'm about to change and go work out. I didn't have any traffic. I got home really early, surprisingly. So, I'm about to change and go work out. I have to go run an errand real quick. So, I'm going to change, go run my errand, and then I'm going to work out. Hey y'all, so it's much later, it's almost 7, and I already took my shower and stuff, ate dinner. Sorry, I look a little crazy. Um, I do need to put my rag on my head, <laughs> my rag, my scarf on my head to tie my braids up, but I am sitting here, you know it's so crazy. Um, I have been wanting to do a video about this, so I'm going to be doing it very soon, but um... So, I, I'm about to get real deep. I'm about to get real deep and real open. But, I have been asking God recently for a lot of signs. And I feel like God and the universe is synonymous. I feel like God created the universe. The universe works for God. When I talk to the universe, I'm talking to God. So, that's just my belief. And so, I have been asking. It's like I use them interchangeably. When I say universe, I mean God. When I say God, I mean universe. Both. So, recently, I have been asking god slash universe for signs just signs that i'm on the right path signs like really speak to me in a way that when i see whatever the message is i'm gonna know it's you god like i'm gonna know to pay attention like i'm gonna pay attention so recently i have been seeing 12 34 on the clock which is why i got it tattooed on me and I've been seeing 1234 maybe like the past three months. And 1234, if you look up 1234, 1234, the number meaning is literally you are on the right path. So what you are feeling, what you are thinking, what you are, um, I guess, planning to do, deciding to do, you're on the right track. So that's one thing. The other thing is that just now... I'm not going to say just now, maybe like two hours ago, I made a decision about something and immediately afterwards I was like, Oof, am I making the right choice? Am I doing the right thing? And I said it, I let go, I let go, I didn't fixate on it, I did not stress over it. I let it go and I kept going about my business. I was watching TV, took my shower, kind of meditated a little bit in the shower, like just, you know, went about my business. When I got out of the shower, I want to show y'all all of my crystals are sitting on my lamp. So, this is what I'm talking about. All of my crystals are sitting right here on my lamp so that I can see them. I could pick them up for the day when I want to use them. Look at that citrine shining. Wow. So, I could pick them up and use them for the day. So, when I got out of the shower, one crystal was sitting on like upside down with its name showing because I got them from um Mind Body Soul. That's where I get all my crystals from. Mind Body Soul or Body Mind Soul, something like that. And some of them have like descriptors or like their names on them, right? So this is gold quartz. So you know that this is gold quartz. 
So some of them have that on it. So when I got out the shower, I walked in my room. I didn't immediately come to the side of my bed. I put my clothes up. I turned the TV on. I read my laptop. Like I started looking at stuff. Like just going by my business, not really thinking nothing of it. I happened to look over there and one crystal was not in that little like tray where the lamp is. It was just sitting on, sitting on my nightstand. When I picked up the crystal, I looked at it and it was this, which is, sorry, it's upside down. It was this moonstone. And so I was like, okay, that's odd that it's sitting up like this saying moonstone and it's not in the tray. Like how was it not in the tray, right? So I immediately picked it up, looked it up. <laughs> it's so crazy, y'all. I looked it up the meaning of moonstone and moonstone talk or not talks about moonstone is used for intuition it's used for um like calming yourself down when you're stressing out it's best used to go like under your pillow when you're sleeping and it's used for a bunch of other things just love guidance um, new beginnings, it's used for new beginnings. And I was like, okay. That was the first time, like, I ain't gonna say first time, but this is one of the most recent times that I am really in the present moment and aware that I can pick up on a sign, research it, and really catch the message. And the message is that whatever that decision that I made two hours ago, it was the right decision because I'm ready for new beginnings. It's crazy. That is crazy to me. It is so crazy that I just feel like that's the power of manifestation, y'all, is to think it, believe it, make a decision, let it go. And once you declare it, oh, I feel like once you declare it and you speak it into existence, like you, you speak on it, you write it down, you put it out there, you let it go to let God do his work. Let God take care of it. It may not be in the right amount of time that you want it to be. It may not be an instant thing. It's going to happen when the universe or God says it's going to happen. And I don't know. Like, it just was, that was really crazy to me. Like, y'all, that was really, really crazy to me. I just feel like I got confirmation that I made the right decision. So, yeah, that was cool. Neck, them hands, those are some of the oldest tattoos I got on my. So I'm done my appointment. I got this one and then I got my hands. I was supposed to get a lot more. Um, So I was supposed to get more than that, but I was late. <gasps> I was late and I didn't want to keep him waiting and I'm hungry, like I'm really hangry. So I didn't want to have like a two hour or two appointment. So the one I'm coming back, I already set my appointment, I'm coming back next weekend to get my one on my forearm. And then I think I'm gonna finish the inside. I got the inside of my hand that I'm gonna do. So yeah, I got these as above. So below I've been wanting to get that. And then I got my little quote right here. Y'all, I do plan on doing my whole neck. Like, I'm going to do my neck. So, I love it, though. It's so, like, dainty and discreet. It didn't hurt her at all. The pain, what pain? The pain was, like, a two, a one, a three, like, non-existent. I just love it. It's, like, very subtle and discreet. Love it. Very subtle and discreet. So, I am about to go home i don't have any plans tonight it's friday night i don't have any plans i think i'm just gonna go home and probably about to go sit in like an hour of traffic but <laughs> i'm just going home and finish editing this vlog and upload it for y'all so i hope you all have a fun fantastic weekend if i do anything exciting i'll pop back up but i don't think i am so it's probably the end of the vlog